hey everyone welcome again today we are going to learn pretty different concept on mysql uh, so what is the different concept today we are learning very simple we are going to learn how to create the table by using graphical user interface so first of all let me open my mysql okay so here i already searched my sql okay so mysql workbench you have to open okay after this you can maximize okay so this is a local instance this is your <coughs> username and password you have to click on this okay so username is root and you have to give the password which you people have to put the password and let me give my password And just click on OK so now the thing will be open okay so when you open this first it will be selected as what administrations okay you just ignore that administration things you just go with the what schemas you have to select this schemas so after this okay if you want to create a new schema so here one option is there create a new schema in connected server Be because already the server has been connected okay you just click on this so it shows the what new schema okay so in the name you have to give a proper schema name i'll just give the schema name is abc whatever the schema name you want you can just give else i'm better to go with the what scott so that is the schema you just click on this apply so finally it review the sql scripts okay so everything are correct and just click on this apply so now it execute this SQL statement and you can click on this finish and you just close it see uh, here a refresh button is there if you want you can just click down after this see your Scott schema has been developed into the particular schema options okay so here so now we are we are in the schema called Scott now here I am going to create the tables have to click on this drop down you get here shows tables okay so now we don't have any table so let me create one table how to create the table so click on right mouse here one option called create table just click on this create table so it's completely graphical user interface you need not to worry about the coding you just look at the options which you are going to select so table name is there okay so before creating the table uh, let me show some detail of the tables so this is my employee table uh, this is my table name and it is actually the child table uh, employee table has a uh, four columns attributes one employee id employee name and salary and department number uh, pk represent primary key fk represent foreign key similar manner department table we have department number is a primary key department name and location this is the basic details now i'm going to create this two table and also provide the established connection between the table by using the key attributes that is primary key and foreign key okay so first whenever you create any table you should create the what parent table first which is the parent table department is a parent table so how to create the department table in my sql so look at this here i already selected again i will i'll just close it and again i'll show you don't save select this table click on this right create the table so here we have to enter table name what was the table name table name was department d-e-p-t i just given the name as department okay so after this what are the columns are present first column is department number the envo d name and location okay so here don't select anything it already has been selected you just change the table name then here column names data types and these are the constraints first you have to select this column name okay if you double click it will show the what column name uh, predefined values have been selected you just ignore that values and use the your standard 
column names okay i'll just give the what d and o this is my department name so if you enter the value department number the data type has been automatically selected so if you want to change the data type you can go to that okay so but department number always the number data type here there is no number data type here int is a data type which is belongs to the value being stored the numbers okay so this is already selected as a primary key and not null also should be selected so after this my second column name is department name i am just give the name as d name see automatically var char will be selected okay so the default says is uh, 45 it has been selected according to this application and if you want to store all the name is just give the not null option okay uh, if you want to make it as unique means you just go with the uq okay uh, third column name is my location column i'll just change it as location loc my column name and it is also selected as a var -ca. and just give the name as not null okay so i have a only three column i just created all the columns and i am going to click on this apply see now i just click on this apply and it's created the table so this is the what script you can see if you want you can scrape see then you can go to the what apply so now query has been executed and we'll get the what table has been created okay i'll just close this and can go to that here drop down options is there you just go to that here department table is there if you want to check it just click on the see i uh, want table structure will be present so now we just created the parent table okay so we are not inserted any values okay but now i'm going to insert the values how to insert the values so i already told you we are not going to create you are not going to writing any codes you we'll just use the what graphical user interface okay so now i have a table over here so this is my table structure and here all the values it's showing okay let me maximize the screen okay now it's clearly visible for everyone okay so this is my department number and this is my department name this is my location so now i'll double click and here i'm going to enter the value what kind of the values i'm going to enter so this is my number i just enter the what 10 and this is my name and just give the what department dept one is my department name and location and just give the what loc one and I, one more uh, option i have 20 and department 2 and loc 2 and one more column one more record if you want to create you just go with the 30 and uh, this is your what dept 3 and this is your loc 3 okay so this is how we are storing the values so after this you just scroll down and you will get the what apply you just if you click on this apply see uh, automatically the graphicals has created the what syntaxes so based on the syntax it has been created all the things just click on this apply and finally execute the sql statement okay successfully applied this database and click on this finished okay now if you want to execute you just select this particular query and you click on this executor okay, finally you'll get to what all the detail of the department okay in similar manner i'm going to create one more table how to create a table again miller table you have to select right mouse and click on this create table and so now we are going to create the what child table what was the child table okay so this is my child table which is a child table employee we have a table name columns how many columns do we have four columns employee id name salary department number which is the primary key employee is my primary key i'm just using the name as emp so this is my table name and let me create the columns employee id 
uh, data type has been selected and just created as a primary key and not null also automatically selected second column is name column okay automatically data type has been selected if you want to make it as not null you can create this not null and the third column is salary okay i'll just give the column name as sal this is my salary and uh, salary is also always okay now i am going to create the foreign key that is my department number and it should be a int okay so after this i am going to create the foreign key just click on this foreign key and i created department number is my foreign key that is my column name and uh, this is my reference table i am going to select the reference from the department table in the department table department number and here i am going to select a particular column as department number and uh, finally i click on this apply okay so it has been created and click on this apply so now it's completely executed and click on this finish so after this if you want you can just close it and uh, if you want to see this employee table just type it as select star from uh, user uh, schema name is scott dot table name is emp just execute this the table and where columns are displayed now i am going to store the value into that employee id so whatever the values are there one two three four this is my employee id a b c d is my names and ten thousand twenty thousand thirty five thousand fifty thousand is my salary and ten twenty twenty null because foreign key can accept the duplicate values and null values itself okay i uh, just created the employee id one employee id two employee id three and employee ID four and name is a b c d salary ten thousand twenty thousand thirty five thousand fifty thousand just department number uh, so employee a is working in department 10 and employee b is working in department 20 and employee c working in department 20 the person d is working in department 30 and one more i'm going to create 5 and e and e is earning again 10,000. okay just keep it as a null and i'm going to click on this apply and see now the query will be executed properly and can finish it so this is how we are going created the tables by using the graphical user interface